Hi, I am Dr. Sotarotha Maithi. Today I am going to teach introduction of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Thermo refers to heat and dynamics refers to mechanical action for doing work. It develops correlation between heat energy and work from the point of view of their interconversion. as well as to develop relations regarding interconversion of the different kind of energy uh, with heat energy in terms of work is also the field of uh, thermodynamics now uh, heat heat is the this point is very important that is heat is the lowest potential lowest form of of the energy all types of energy get converted into heat energy during the cause of the flow in fact nuclear energy is also not beyond this idea now uh, first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics states that uh, the ch the change in internal internal energy it states that the change in internal energy of a system change in internal energy of a system is equal to heat added to the system plus work done on the system again i am saying the change in internal energy of a system is equal to heat added to the system plus the work done on the system mathematically delta u equal to q plus w so now uh, what is delta u delta u is the internal uh, change in internal energy whereas q q is the uh, algebraic sum of heat energy between system and surroundings again i am saying q is the algebraic sum of heat energy between system and um, system and surroundings now w w stands for work done when work done work done on the system it is positive and work done by the system it is negative and obviously i will uh, discuss sign convince convention in due time uh, now the question is what is internal energy internal energy uh, is a functional temperature which is only for ideal gas uh, it consists of uh, translational energy rotational energy now what is translational energy and rotational energy i am giving a example suppose this is a water molecule so water molecule can uh, translate along x axis y axis and z axis and the energy corresponds to uh, this translation is translational energy and water molecule also rotates around x axis y axis z axis and the corresponding energies are called rotational energy next is uh, vibrational energy so water molecule has two bonds a two wedge bonds and wedge bonds can vibrate uh, wedge bond can vibrate see wedge bond bonds are uh, bonds are vibrating and the uh, corresponding energy is vibrational energy Vib the internal energy experimental determination of absolute value of internal internal energy is possible but it is not a an, not an easy task as well as time consuming also in practice instead of determining absolute value of u change in internal energy is taken into account and the what differential form of f of equation first law of uh, thermodynamics is du equal to dq plus dw here i am using dacard form of q and dacard form of w because they are path function and their inexact differentiation so i will discuss later so if after integration if you say delta u equal to delta q and delta w so delta q and delta w are the invalid idea so uh, correct uh, convention is delta u equal to q plus w okay so delta q and delta w is completely invalid idea now sign convention to deal with uh, thermodynamics obviously here ipsc rule uh, will i'll i'll discuss ipsc rule 
uh, according to IPSC convention mass energy uh, work etc anything uh, received by the system by the system is positive will be expressed as positive and whereas uh, mass energy etc anything uh, released by the system will be expressed as negative this is the IPSC convention so <coughs> I think it is clear so anything is taken up by the system is positive anything is released by the system is negative so work done on the system is positive and work done by the system is negative clear now work is always work is always done against a uh, opposing pressure opposing force or opposing pressure you can say but uh, so dw equal to p opposing into dv change in volume this is the differential uh, form so internal pressure internal pressure is not always equal to opposing pressure so what is internal pressure pressure uh, pre pressure applied by gas molecules this is internal pressure and opposing pressures is pressure acting on the piston externally pressure acting on the piston externally and opposing pressure is, uh, yeah, and the frictional frictional force is also included in the opposing pressure so it is a gas jar with piston head and the gas molecules are Applied applying force on piston that internally this is internal pressure and our blues arrows are uh, indicating opposing pressure it includes friction of uh, friction of piston but sometimes but sometimes uh, in that is in reversible process uh, internal pressure is equal to opposing pressure okay so why because uh, in reversible process as uh, in equilibrium as in equilibrium in reversal process uh, equilibrium is maintained in each step that is why internal pressure equal to external pressure in e uh, reversible process so work done can also be zero here work done is also be zero but when answer is in uh, it, it it is possible in free expansion so you can say what is free expansion suppose it's a, con a container so one, uh, one portion contains gas and other uh, parties uh, in other portion is completely vacuum now there is a partition between two compartment if you if you withdraw the partition then what will happen gas will freely occup then gas will freely occupy the other partition also so in that case the opposing pressure uh, equal will be zero because other partition other portion is vacuum so then in that case p opposing is zero then dw we know dw equal to minus p opposing into dv so now p opposing equal to zero so dw becomes zero so in that case in in case of free expansion work done is zero mind it always keep in mind in free expansion work done is zero now work done on the system so I am not talking about uh, free expansion now in normal case we know the mathematical for form of first law of thermodynamics is du equal to dq plus dw and in work done on the system in that case w is dw is really positive so dq plus pdv and work done by the system dw will be negative because uh, system is doing work so du equal to minus du equal to dq minus pdv and another important conversion that uh, that is very important for uh, mathematical problem that is 1.987 calorie equal to 8.314 joule that is equal to 0.082 liter atmosphere and uh, so work is medium of exchange clear this is very important statement now system now what is system system is macroscopic of the universe which is under investigation with definite boundary either real or imaginary is termed as system from thermodynamic point of view 
clear so next definition is surroundings then what is the definition of surroundings clear so that is very easy surroundings is uh, anything anything which exists beyond the system boundary those con those uh, that is con uh, considered as surroundings anything which exists beyond the system system boundary that is surroundings and uh, if i give if i am giving a i am giving you a example uh, that suppose this is a conical flux it is uh, in some solution is uh, is kept in the conical flux and this solution is system and the outside of the system is surroundings now system plus surroundings and system plus surroundings what is system plus surroundings that is universe it's very simple system plus surroundings is actually universe clear now next important definition uh, is system boundary system boundary may be rigid or flexible now system boundary also termed as wall so rigid walls are subdivided into several categories first one is permeable wall in permeable wall in the in case of permeable wall both mass and energy uh, transfer is allowed through the wall so mathematical form is dm not equal to 0 because mass exchange is feasible and exchange of energy is also feasible and examples earthen pot so where mass and energy uh, transfer is possible next one is diathermal wall in case of diathermal wall exchange of mass is prohibited but exchange of energy is allowed example is metallic uh, glass vessel made of metal because uh, mass is will not be transferred but energy can transfer because metal can transport energy and add what is adiabatic wall where mass and energy transfer is for, are forbidden example is thermoflask clear so it is thermoflask uh, example is thermoflask wall but here mechanical energy may be transferred between the system and surroundings but not heat energy mind keep in mind mechanical energy may be transferred between system and surroundings but uh, heat energy cannot be transferred between system and surroundings in case of adiabatic wall a system is defined on the basis of some parameters for example um, uh, pressure next one is volume and temperature that is called we we, we say uh, in a simple way pvt pressure volume and temperature these are termed as state parameters for 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 the change of state of a system a process is required this process may may involve a single step or multi step and it may be uh, it may even be cyclic different type of pro process may be noted first one is um, isothermal process and what is isothermal process in isothermal process uh, temperature of system remains unaltered throughout the system that is delta t equal to 0 but u not equal to 0 so heat exchange between system and surrounding is possible except in free expansion why in why i am saying except in free expansion i am uh, i'll discuss in due time so uh, in case of uh, isothermal process because i am saying that delta t equal to 0 that is t is constant and we know you internal energy is a function of temperature so as t is constant so du equal to 0 so now du equal to dq plus dw so du equal to 0 because u is a function of temperature and t is constant so it becomes dq equal to minus dw now uh, in case of free expand what is happening wh what will happen now we'll disc we'll, uh, we'll see in the first law of thermic states that du equal to dq plus dw but in case of the isothermal process du equal to 0 then dq it becomes 0 equal to dq minus p opposing dv but p uh, but uh, as it is free expansion p opposing equal to 0 so dw equal work done is 0 so it becomes uh, ultimately dq becomes 0 clear so in case of free expansion see dq dw du all are 0 next one is uh, adiabatic process so in adiabatic process heat exchange between system and surroundings is prohibited so delta t here delta t will not be equal to 0 uh, so now first law of thermodynamics becomes du equal to dq plus dw du equal to 0 plus dw because dq is 0 heat exchange 
between system and surroundings is forbidden so now it becomes d equal to dw but in case of adiabatic process of expansion d equal to minus pdp because we, we know in case of expansion means system is uh, doing work then work done is negative so d equal to minus pdp uh, it means internal it it means system is doing work system is it means system is doing work by the consumption of internal energy it means work is done through the con uh, consumption of internal energy so in then as a result internal energy will decrease so if internal energy decreases then temperature of the system will decrease means cooling cooling effect will be seen in case of adiabatic process process of expansion of in, of in opposite obviously then adiabatic process of compression in case of adiabatic adiabatic process of compression heating will be observed it's very simple in case of adiabatic process of expansion cooling will be observed in case of adiabatic process of compression heating will be observed clear now uh, we'll see what what will happen in case of free expansion we know in free expansion p opposing pressure is zero so d u equal to minus p d v so d d w d d w equal to minus p d v then d w will be zero so d u equal to d q plus d w d then d q zero d w zero d q y d q zero because it is adiabatic process so it be ultimately uh, we have uh, we are seeing that d u equal to zero so in case of free expansion uh, uh, in case of free expansion iso uh, isothermal and adiabatic process the all are zero like du dq dw are zero but uh, because so both process give identical result but reasons are different clear next one is uh, isobaric process baric means it means uh, unit of pressure is bar so here obviously it is clear that del in isobaric process pressure is constant it means delta p equal to 0 so pressure is constant throughout the process in iso what and next one is isochoric process in isochoric process delta p equal to 0 it means volume is constant throughout the process so uh, it doesn't mean that initial and final pressure or initial and final volume is constant it means that pressure and volume sir volume remains constant throughout the process uh, in case of isobaric and isochoric respectively okay so thank you